1831, a young Englishman set sail on a trip that would change the vision that we have of the world, man and God. Not only did Charles Darwin's voyage of the Beagle around the world set the foundations for his theory of evolution, but also sparked the debate that still today stirs our society, creationism against evolution and science against church. All his footprints in Brazil, Uruguay, Argentine and Chilean Patagonia, Tierra del Fuego, Galapagos, Australia, and I even visited his house in Down, south of London, where he wrote his famous books. In every one of these places, I tried to pick up a piece of this incredible story to write my book, Darwin's Betrayal. Did you know that before the voyage, Darwin was supposed to become a priest? or that he finished his education reading books on board the Beagle, or that he was seasick for most of the five years long trip, or that the ship's captain, Robert Fitzroy, was his friend but eventually became his enemy? I wrote this book, the historical novel, so that you could live on board the Beagle and live side by side with Charles his adventures and understand how each discovery shaped his evolutionary or should I say revolutionary ideas and also to understand the drama that prevented him from publishing his findings until, until those butterflies from Malaysia. After his death, new discoveries brought overwhelming evidence that his ideas were much more than just a theory. So, Charles Darwin became father of modern biology. But does that mean that there's no room left to believe in God? Darwin, although an atheist himself, was buried inside Westminster Abbey. Does that answer your question? Many people ask me about my book's name. Why Darwin's betrayal? Whom did he betray? And I always answer. You'll have to read my book to find out. I'm still